Hello and welcome to another Quality of Life Tools add-on demo. This one is for the add-on Link Widget, which is this dinky little gadget up here. Now then, it might be a little tricky to catch this on video, so what I'll do is a little zoomed area for now, so you can see what's going on along the way. So, what is Link Widget? The best way to describe it is a handy little gadget that keeps you in the flow while giving a full overview of what objects are linked or not. Linked data is also known as instancing in other 3D packages. The main benefit of it is keeping your polygon counts down. This is of course beneficial for both your file size on disk and for keeping your scene manageable. The widget is designed to handle many objects at the same time. For example, here we have four objects sharing the same linked data. Now, all too often without the widget, people tend to go into vertex mode, move around a few vertices just to see if an object is linked or not. <laughs> Obviously, not the most optimal way of working. This gadget allows you an at-a-glance view and you can see straight away whether objects are linked or not. Now, as far as keeping polygon counts down, as you can see, this scene has 398,000 polygons, which is wholly unnecessary at this point. So, what we can do is take any objects that are visually identical and make instances of them. Now, for example, CAD data usually has incredibly inefficient data and many objects that are just individuals. So, for example, on this CAD model, all of the screw threads are using exactly the same data. So, for example, we could cheat a little here and use another plugin of mine, select same vertex count, which by nature selects all objects that are visually identical, more or less. And at this point, all we have to do is shift click and it makes all of these instances. And you can see at this point, we've already lost over 90,000 polygons. And another tip here, as you notice, these objects all have their origins, the pivot points, down here. If you're going to be making instances, it's vital that each object has its individual pivots. And the best way to do this is to select all your objects and just make sure that all the origins are originated from their centers. If the objects don't have their origins set to their individual centers, well, basically, it all goes to hell. This is nothing to do with the gadget. This is the nature of how instances work in Blender or in any DCCs. This was just a tip to help you avoid that scenario. And that, I think, is just about it. Oh, no, no, one more thing, and it's very important too. When you have an instanced object selected, alt-clicking on the widget selects all of its linked siblings. That's all other objects that are visually identical. For example, with the screws here, alt-click, and it selects all of them. If, however, you control-click, it selects all objects that are instanced in the entire scene, no matter what they're instanced to. This allows you to have a full overview of where you are and what is and isn't a linked object. And finally, if for whatever reason you want to work on an object individually, or many objects individually, all you have to do is click once on the icon and it breaks the instances for you. So backwards or forwards is never a problem. Shift to make instances or single click to break them. It's a tool that I use every single day. I do a lot of CAD cleanup amongst other things. And while I find it useful, I hope you do too. I hope you like it, and uh, thank you again for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>